The Tesla Semi made a notable appearance at this year's IA Transportation Trade Show in Hanover, Germany, where new insights into Tesla's ambitious electric big rig were shared. The presentation, led by Dan Priestley, head of the Semi program, provided a detailed update on the truck's performance, efficiency, and its readiness for the European market. Since its introduction, approximately 100 Tesla Semis have been deployed on U.S. roads, covering a total of over 4.6 million miles over the past two years. On average, each Semi has accumulated around 46,000 miles, which is modest in the context of long-haul trucking. However, one notable unit has surpassed this average, racking up over 248,000 miles in just a year and a half, showcasing the truck's durability and reliability. Tesla claims that the Semi boasts an energy efficiency of 100 kWh kWh, per 100 km, which translates to approximately 1.6 kWh per mile. This figure represents a significant improvement over the previously advertised 2 kWh per mile, marking a 20% enhancement in efficiency. Such efficiency is crucial for long-haul trucking operations, where minimizing energy consumption directly impacts operational costs. Priestley highlighted that the semi achieves an impressive 95% uptime, including periods allocated for service and maintenance. This level of reliability means the electric big rig can effectively replace a diesel Class 8 truck on a one-for-one -one basis. The semi is designed to cover up to 1,000 miles in a single day, facilitated by several high-speed charging sessions aligning with the rigorous demands of long-distance freight transport. Tesla is also preparing to enter the European market with the Semi. Priestley confirmed that the truck has been adapted to meet European regulations and is street legal in the region. However, specific details about the Semi's launch in Europe were not disclosed. Tesla's plans include ramping up production to reach an annual output of 50,000 units by 2026, indicating a significant scaling of operations to meet growing demand. The Tesla Semi features practical design elements tailored for the needs of truck drivers. The cab includes side storage compartments that can be accessed through a touchscreen interface inside the truck. This design choice compensates for the absence of a traditional front trunk, integrating storage solutions into the truck's structure. Additionally, the Semi's body was designed to incorporate a sleeper cab from the outset, with a metal structure at the rear to secure the panels temporarily. Despite the advances, the Tesla Semi program has faced its share of delays. Unveiled as a concept in 2017, the Semi's initial production target of 2019 was not met. Instead, production commenced in limited quantities toward the end of 2022, with the first fleet deliveries going to PepsiCo. Tesla has also integrated several Semis into its own fleet for ongoing testing and development, further validating the truck's performance and reliability. The Semi's development journey reflects the challenges and complexities inherent in bringing groundbreaking technologies to market. However, the progress made so far underscores Tesla's commitment to revolutionizing the trucking industry with sustainable and efficient electric solutions. In summary, the Tesla Semi represents a significant leap forward in the realm of electric heavy-duty trucks, combining enhanced efficiency, robust performance, and forward-thinking design. As Tesla continues to refine and scale its production, the Semi is poised to play a pivotal role in the future of long-haul trucking, both in the US and potentially in Europe. Hello and welcome to the Electric Explorer. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We bring you the latest and hottest news on electric mobility every day. We're excited to introduce three membership levels, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers exclusive perks and content tailored for EV enthusiasts. Your support helps us deliver engaging video updates daily and keeps you connected to the EV community. Join us and be a part of the electric revolution. Tesla Semi Truck, which crashed and burst into flames on a highway in Sacramento, California required firefighters to spray 50,000 gallons of water and an aircraft dropping fire retardant onto the area to finally bring the blaze under control. According to a preliminary report by the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board and TSB, the crash, which happened at 3.13 a.m. on August 19, saw the battery electric semi-trailer truck come off the highway on a bend, hit a tree and burst into flames. The driver was uninjured. The report said the Tesla Semi's large 900 kilowatt hours battery caught fire, reaching a temperature of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 538 degrees C while spewing toxic fumes. It continued to burn into the late afternoon, as firefighters doused it with water to cool it down. Tesla sent a technical expert to assess high voltage hazards and fire safety. The freeway was not reopened until 16 hours after the crash. The NTSB team of investigators, 
examined the fire risks posed by large lithium-ion battery packs. The agency said, all aspects of the crash remain under investigation while the NTSB determines the probable cause. In 2021 an NTSB report warned that battery fires pose a risk to emergency responders, and that manufacturers' guidelines around such fires were inadequate. The Tesla Semi was launched in 2022. The truck is powered by three motors, and according to Tesla has approximately three times the power of a typical diesel semi-truck, a range of 500 miles, and can operate at an energy use of less than 2 kWh per mile. Two concept vehicles were unveiled in November 2017 and Tesla chief executive, Elon Musk said at the time the vehicle would be in production by 2019. Production finally began in October 2022 with initial deliveries were made to PepsiCo in December 2022. Volume production of the semi is planned to begin by March 2026. Once complete, the manufacturing facility, located adjacent to the existing Giga Nevada facility, is planned to produce 50,000 semi-trucks annually.